10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. We have liftoff. Go Falcon 9. Go SpaceX. Go Starlink Group 615. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4 East from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base at 9.09 p.m. Pacific time. The next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the at Earth's atmosphere. Power to telemetry nominal. And we should hear that call out. signal, Hawthorne. We should hear that call out for Max Q in about 20 Vehicle seconds. Vehicle supersonic. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses. Now we're about a minute away. Back engine chill has started. We're about a minute away from a series of events. These are Miko stage separation, SES one, and lastly fairing step separation. Main engine cutoff or Miko is where all nine of the Merlin one D engines on the first stage shut down. This is followed by stage separation, which is when the first and second stages separate from one another. We will then have second engine start one or SES one, which is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And lastly, we'll have fairing separation, which is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So keep an eye out for all of these events, which will happen in pretty quick succession. Main engine cut off. Stage separation. MVAC ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful MECO, stage sep, and SES-1. And we're coming up on fairing separation from the second stage in just a few moments. Fairing separation. And there's that fairing separation. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel Go Beyond. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven and are both flying for their sixth time tonight. The next major milestone coming up is the entry burn on the first stage, which is one of two burns it'll go through to prepare for landing on our drone ship, of course I still love you, in the Pacific Ocean. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Good call out there that both vehicles are currently following nominal trajectories. On the left side of your screen is our Falcon 9 first stage, currently on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. And on the right side of your screen is an amazing view of our MVAC engine on the second stage of Falcon, currently carrying our 15 Starlink satellites to orbit. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is currently continuing its burn, which will last another four minutes.
As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 48th mission just this year and 247th overall mission. Entry burn on the first stage is set to occur about two and a half minutes from now, and this is where we'll light up the uh, light up three of the nine Merlin 1D engines in order to slow the rocket down as it descends through the Earth's atmosphere. As a reminder, on the left side of your screen is a view of our Falcon 9 first stage, and on the right is a view of our MVAC engine on the second stage, currently carrying 15 Starlink satellites to orbit. The 15 satellites on tonight's mission will be joining the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over 1.5 million people around the globe. In addition to our live view of the MVAC engine on your screen there on, at the bottom of the second stage, we also are getting live telemetry of the Falcon 9 first stage located at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen and live telemetry of the Falcon 9 second stage at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Both vehicles are on their nominal trajectory. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage and one FTS is safe. And there's that call out for the stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage two FTS has safe. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there you just heard the call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And back Stage one transonic. And there you heard that important callout for Seco one or second engine cutoff one, and we're now waiting on that callout for good orbit. Coming up in just a few moments will be the start of our landing burn on orbit insertion on the Falcon 9 first stage. Stage one landing burn. And there's the start of the Falcon 9 first stage landing burn. We also heard that call out for good orbit. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you heard and saw our Falcon 9 first stage has successfully launched and landed for its 10th time. Today's landing marks our 208th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of second engine cutoff, good orbit, and first stage landing, that'll wrap up our coverage for now. 
As a note, payload deployment is expected to occur around the T plus 15 minute mark, but due to a lack of ground station coverage, we likely won't be able to confirm until a bit later. So if you're interested, check out the SpaceX Twitter account for updates. As always, thanks for watching.